All right, this is after the clear water show. I'm going to show you the pickups. And this is going to take a second, guys, because I bought a whole bunch of cards. So let's get into it. All right, first card's going to be very PC-oriented. I'm a giant He-Man fan. Uh, this is a He-Man sticker from 1984. Uh, these are not easy to come by. Um, this is in really good condition. And uh, it wanted 10 bucks. It was a 50% off table, so it was $5. I was more than happy to pay for it. Uh, they had a Tila too, but it was stained too much, and I wasn't going to mess with it. That's Tila, for those who don't know. That is He-Man. Uh, but very cool card. I like it. Very PC card for me. Uh, next up, I'm going to show you uh, probably the the, uh, the most I spent on cards. And then go, because we hit the dollar bin like nobody's business today, because uh, the, the guy there that had the dollar bin going was Bananas. So this group of cards right now um, that you're going to see I paid $120 for. Ryan Tannehill, rookie... Um, napkin, whatever, numbered to 80. Uh, he's still a relevant quarterback in the league. He's still active. And uh, I grouped this into this lot. So $120 for this lot you're going to be looking at. Brian Erlacher, Platinum Portraits. Look at that patch. It's got a, That's an actual hair of blackness that came from, I guess, part of the patch. Uh, that, you know, obviously Bear Jersey is black. as seen here. Um, but this is a patch. This card is numbered to 100 now back in the day they didn't deliberately put nicer patches in lower numbered cards they probably don't even have a version of this under 100 um and it just happens to have a patch and it's got this really nice thick logo sorry if you hear them laughing in the background they're watching a funny girl movie i guess uh but uh, uh this is a really nice patch but for you know throwing this in again 120 dollars for this group uh this Anthony Gordon Immaculate to 25 on cart auto. It is a collegiate version. Uh, what's funny is this is a guy kind of uh, under the radar prospect PC, mainly as prism cards. His auto's there. And uh, the Immaculates, people usually just ask too much for, and I'm not willing to pay for it. Uh, this is a guy that, again, this is a deep prospect. The only quarterback that had better stats than him when he was drafted a couple years ago with Joe Burrow. And the quarterback in front of him, and the reason he wasn't starting uh, the year prior, was Gardner Minshew. And then I think maybe before that was Carson Wentz, if I'm not mistaken. So um, it's a very trailed line uh, that Anthony Gordon had to run behind. He's already been on three teams, which lets me know that teams are willing to grab him, bring him in as a backup. Um, he, he was drafted by Seattle. He's played with KC, and he's also been uh, the backup for the Broncos when all their quarterbacks went down. He was actually their second-string guy live in a game. So very interesting that they're willing to do that. Number to 25, more of a PC thing, long-term hold. Uh, Greg Olson, number to 25, nice game use patch here at a playbook. Um this guy used to crush the Bucks. This guy did everything right when he played. I think he's a Hall of Famer. And uh, he's just Mr. Consistency and at a high level. Jose Ramirez, top's finest rookie auto, black. So this is numbered in 99. And if you look this card up, this sells for a couple hundred dollars. And I think when he looked it up to price it, he looked up just a refractor. I don't even think he saw this up here. Because, um, again, this is $120 for all this. I know I can sell this card right now for $200 uh, without without blinking. So, uh, very, very interesting. But this is why you ask. And this is why you give people groups of cards and see what they say. Um, so, I was just like, okay. Because I figured he was going to ask $200 just for this card. But he did not. So, next up, Randy Moss. Nice, thick patch here. This is a numbered card. Uh, it's hard to see. It is numbered to 25. And it is a thick Randy Moss patch. I love these older versions of these look, Leaf Rookies and Stars. Donruss. Uh, Leaf Certified. These. This, this year of cards uh, and version of cards that go back all the way back to the Mirror Reds from the early 2000s are some of my favorite cards. And what's nice is it doesn't have to always be a low number to be a nice patch. But Randy Moss, Hall of Famer, probably the second best wide receiver ever. And uh, I just, I'm happy to have it. And then finally, Barry Bonds. I have another one of these, which is a different jersey. What's nice about these cards back in the day is 
they actually are very transparent. So this is when they gave him his most uh, valuable player award, and uh, he played in that game. So that jer this is where this jersey piece is from. It's very transparent. It's got the old Topps uh, sticker logo on it, which lets you know it's uh, pre, I think, 2012 uh, is when they stopped doing that. So uh, super cool to have. But again, $120 for that lot. And uh, I'm very happy to have it. And I am not upset one bit. Now, dollar bin. Holy mother. This guy, they bought a massive collection. And they pulled the really good stuff out. And then this happened. So uh, we're going to go through this. It's going to take a second, guys. If you want to see cool stuff that's cheap, I'm getting ready to see it. That's all I'm going to say. All right. Um, this card I actually pulled out for Bryant. I have a, another one of a different player, which you'll see. But this is a leather type helmet within the card that's an insert this is of Curtis Martin you'll see another one in a little bit here of uh, Deion Sanders but there's a guy that has an Emmett Smith that he wants like $1,200 for uh, that's a PSA 10 I don't even know what this these would grade I don't really care these remember these are all but two or three of these cards are gonna be a dollar you're gonna see the first three cards that are worth three dollars you know big bangers three dollars because uh, all this guy's rookie or all this guy's patch and auto cards were three dollars all the base cards were a dollar that's pretty much how it worked out so here are my cards i paid three dollars for earnhardt baby no not dale not dale jr not dale C senior but good old carrie earnhardt i was like i ain't never seen a carrie earnhardt autograph before for three bucks i'll do that so at the end of the day, I do want a Dale Earnhardt Jr. and a senior auto. It'd be nice to have the whole family, kind of like the Mannings type stuff. So I was like, I'm probably not going to find this card for $3 anywhere else. I'm going to buy it now. Uh, Daryl Green, again, Leaf Limited, this older version of stuff. I really like it. Low numbered, 71 of 100. Yes, it's a napkin, but Daryl Green was a bad man back in the day. And most people do not really know how good some of these guys were this cool right here raymond barry tops archives from 2001 this is an authentic stadium seat from baltimore memorial look at the color on that that's a very nice color you got kind of like a wood the wood grain there and then the fading of the paint I, it's just it's like it's just a nice patch you got your tops logo there to verify it i just couldn't pass it up for three bucks all right so we're gonna start with kind of like non-sport stuff okay so this stuff is non-sport stuff. Again, keep in mind, only a dollar. So I got a whole bunch of Lord of the Rings. Um, what is this stupid thing called? Uh, I knew I was going to forget it there. Oh, it's the glassy looking thing. It'll come back to me here. Uh, stained glass. There we go. Uh, so these are each a buck. Aragon. I mean, Gandalf. Just can't pass it up lady death this is from the lady death series not wizard uh very interesting it's a chrome card there will be a series in the future probably of lady death and witchblade if you don't know what that is um it's like dark horse comics and stuff uh jenny mccarthy i don't know if this is a rookie card or not i don't remember seeing an early jenny mccarthy card outside of a playboy card so i was trying to just kind of cut the cut the rug there um a 94 Fleer ultra magneto i thought this was really cool behold uh avalon Look at this. Good old, was it 1976 tops stickers of the Fonz? Hey, sit on it, man. I don't even know what that's exactly said, but uh, and then the Fonz wants you, you know? <laughs> oh, God, I'm going off the rail here. All right, this is really cool right here. Han Solo, gold, numbered, galaxy, out of 600. Parallel. Hoth. A buck. Phone card. I know you're probably thinking, what the hell is a phone card? Well, back in the day, when you had your cell phone, you didn't have like a real service, you needed a phone card to use your phone. And you would flip this little thing on the back, scratch that off, type in this number, and you get $10 of usage out of your phone. They made all kinds of these things with all kinds of athletes and sports. They have autograph versions of these and everything. But I've never seen an X-Men one. And it is Marvel licensed. So I was like, I have to take that with me. And this is obviously the famous uh, image of the comic where Cyclops and Jean get married. A wizard Spider-Man die cut. I was actually trying to buy this from me. 
uh, right after I bought it. Um, and then a Spider-Man Anniversary Prismatic, which I have one of the other prisms. It's kind of like the McFarlane stuff that had come out. Um, good old Stan the Man, super cool. Right here, Dragon Ball Z Gohan, silver foil uh, game card. I've never seen the silver forward one. They're usually they're just kind of like Pokemon where it's like a shimmer. But I was like, okay, I'm going to take that. Dragon Ball Z, fantastic series. Don't know why they have not gone and done more with it yet. Uh, here's our prismatic uh, Wolverine. Again, kind of that same series, 1992 Marvel, that vintage stuff uh, that came out. Uh, very fun stuff, very good condition. Uh, Simpsons ran forever. Here is a Skybox Motion. Of Maggie, so I was like, whatever. I'm just, I'm here, and let's just keep going. Storm uh, from the X Men hologram, Witchblade, uh, Wizard card. Now a lot of these cards that came out of the Wizard back then were Chrome refractors. Um, there wasn't like a Chrome and then a refractor. It was a Chrome refractor card. Um, so that was cool. Got a good old Hulkster here out of Alan Ginter. Babe Watch, uh, Kevin, uh, not Kevin, what is his name, it's Pamela Anderson, and uh, the guy that played Michael Knight, I don't know why it's killing me right now, um, but uh, y'all all know who he is, 1995 though, it doesn't matter, Gorgeous George, Women of WCW, this is a 3D card, uh, back in the day, she was one of my favorite wrestlers for two reasons, you can guess which two those are, and then uh, good old Darth Vader, Hate Me Luke, Destroy Me, Chrome card. Uh, again, just older card. Didn't have it. Never collected it. And I do like it. Alright, let's keep going here. Uh, I've got a Magneto hologram. Another Magneto hologram. Marvel guy might want these. Uh, early uh, or late 90s Beast uh, from Fleer Ultra. A, one of the Spider-Man's Chameleon. I think I have a whole set of these actually already. And then a Sabretooth Power Blast. Uh, Royal Wedding, Alan Ginter Tops, Kevin Costner Star Card from 1988. Just great Bull Durham. All right, now into the sports stuff, guys. Vernon Davis, Top Scrum Rookie. Frank Gore, uh, Score Rookie. Donovan Gnad, Top Rookie. Walt Frazier, 1972-73 season. Little soft, but for a buck, I'm gonna take it all day. Shaquille O'Neal Silver uh, Sig uh, Collector's Choice Upper Deck. Hakeem Olajuwon Beam Team. Martin Berter 2000 Prism. Pinnacle Don Manley Essence of the Game. Uh, Don Manley is one of my favorite players uh, for baseball. Regis Feldman, Rest in Peace. Fans of the Game. I think this is Dick Vitale's rookie card. Because uh, this is from like 1994, and I don't know if Dick Vitale has a card pre-1994. Goldberg, Little Caesars, 1999, I believe. Yep, 99. I think his rookie card is technically 98, but I thought this was really cool. Jim Catfish Hunter rookie card. That's right. You heard it. Rookie card from 1965 for a buck. Even the guy even looked at it. He's like, yeah, "Cool, good luck, have fun." Dan Marino rookie year instant replays. Three, four of them. Four. Sorry, not three. Got four. Couldn't help myself. Jerry Rice second year cards. Uh, playoff momentum. Kurt Warner stargazing. Now we still have stargazing cards. They don't look much different than this. And you're talking about a car from 2000. So. And his rookie is 1998 or 9. Kevin Garnett rookie card. This is the uh, Skybox EX version uh, of these cards. You can see he doesn't have, talk about drafted, and uh, the academy that he played at when he was in high school because he went straight to the pros. Jerry Rice Select Certified Edition 1995 insert. Look how nice this card is. They just don't make cards like this anymore. Jerry Rice again, Pacific Collection. There you'll see a lot of in 90s inserts, and you know I kind of have a uh, thing for 90s inserts, especially 90s, early 2000s. Uh, we got ourselves a 2000 um, Peyton Manning. I want to. Uh, I like the early Peyton Manning stuff right now, especially long term. 
Junior Seirao of the Donneris hit list numbered out of 10,000. 153 of 10,000. Um, I don't know if there's any of these cards that are numbered 2,500 or more or whatever it may be. I don't know if you could find 10,000 of these if you wanted to. All right, good old protégés, Jerry Rice, Terrell Owens. I mean, that's just double Hall of Famer there. It's really cool. Uh, silver, autograph, King Griffey, uh, collector choice, uh, star card. Tops lasers, as you can see through there, Jerry Rice. Power Cores, Barry Sanders, Pacific Edition. Pacific uh, has such great inserts back in the day. Uh, Fleer Ultra Gold, Jerry Rice. Uh, we have a Kemalajuan Larger Than Life um, Skybox insert. Heinz Ward uh, Upper Deck Encore Rookie. Emmett Smith Gold Ultra. Red Dan Marino Vanguard. Yep. Greg Maddox Donners the Rookies. Uh, this was a subset uh, that you have to get in a little box that came out after the set. Uh, HG King Griffey Jr. here. Uh, we have a classic spinning hardaway. This is like a fabric card. Uh, I don't even know what it might be worth. I just I know like penny stuff and I've never seen it. So when you don't see it and it's cheap, you buy it. Rookie year nineteen eighty five starting lineup Carl Malone. This is not from nineteen eighty five, this is from nineteen ninety, but it is the starting lineup Carl Malone. I did like it. Uh, I'm a Bucks fan, so um, this Eric Rett printer's proof. Uh, one out of four ninety nine. It's not number one of four ninety nine. They just would just put one of four ninety nine, make four hundred ninety nine, and you would just kind of be happy you had one. Dan Marino rocket launchers. You'll see a bunch of Dan Marinos in here too. I'm a sucker for Dan Marino. Um, it's just it is what it is. And when they're shiny, flashy cards, I'm even more of a sucker. All right, look. <laughs> Like I said, you'll see a theme. You'll see a lot of Jerry Rice and Dan Marino in this. So I was pulling all those things. This is the top lineage. This card right here is actually like a fab piece of fabric. Uh, it's a card still, but the, the front of it's uh, soft. I forgot exactly what they call it. But Ichiro, Hall of Famer, um, early card. Um, I have a Tin Lincecum rookie of, uh, in this uh, thing uh, format. I, don't remember, I can't remember what it's called, but it's like a cloth card. Mike Allstott Panda card. All right, now some of this design you've probably seen in cards today. Well, don't worry, it was going on in 1996. Nolan Ryan Star 1985 card, baseball's K King. Look at this, Michael Jordan phone card, WorldCom. Now this shows you Michael Jordan. You couldn't even put a Bulls jersey on him back in the day. You're lucky you got to use 23. Um, so th this is really cool. This is an older uh, phone card. So. Uh, 1997 uh, Michael Jordan Worldcom 30 minute phone card and then uh, the early 90s upper deck Pro Bowl card of Thurman Thomas Barry Sanders where they do NFC AFC but wait there's more uh, Mario Lemieux autograph card uh, handing a jersey to George Bush JSA was actually there and the guy was like we'll go over and authenticate it and I was like um, what are you I'm not paying for that he's like no I'm just going to give it to him he's going to tell me yes or no I was like, okay, and they're like, yes and yes. I'm like, okay, good, a dollar each. So <laughs> I got a Yacht and a Lemieux, Lemieux autograph for a dollar each. Uh, Michael Irvin Pacific uh, Pro Bowl selections. Uh, these are very popular, die cuts, palm tree. Uh, Emmett Smith, uh, early leaf, um, grassroots card. I mean, this is a promo out of 5,000. All right, now some of the promos, sometimes you see a ton of them, and then sometimes you don't ever see a promo. And it's just one of those things. Uh, Prestige 2000 Emmett Smith. This is the film card. And some of these are numbered, some are not. I'll get another Pro Bowl, Mary Butts Emmett Smith. Wade Boggs, Don Mattingly. Uh, again, big Don Mattingly fan. Wade Boggs went to my high school, lives here in Tampa, and is all around town. So uh, super cool, and he likes fishing, which I do too. Herschel Walker, starting lineup. Simeon Rice, rookie, top stadium club. Mike Allstott's top stadium club uh, rookie. This is the uh, Fleer Gamers uh, Jerry Rice. Um, they're all refractor looking though. Uh, some some inserts back in the day actually had a refractor version too, so you have to pay attention to that. Pacific Collection Emmett Smith. You know, that's one of the things. These inserts, 
back in the day were not that easy to hit. And when you did hit them, they weren't always good players and or frequent. Dan Marino, John Elway card here, numbered to 349. And I'm assuming little autos on it help make it that. Uh, ripped, um, Dan Marino edge card. Kind of see the refractor type version behind it here. Um, this is number uh, 1862 of the set. So back then they didn't put a definitive number of the amount. You just knew that they were limited. I, I don't know how many, this might have gone up to 2,000 for this set. Uh, Carl Malone, scoring leaders, um, again this year. These ultra cards, they stick together uh, to find them or even open them and get them anymore is very difficult. Uh, Willie Mays hologram card. Keep in mind these are all a dollar still, guys. I'm a dollar a piece. And he gave me a deal after I gave them all to him. All right, Adrian Peterson. This is a rookie card. It's a different uh, front, uh, like a throwback. Pavel Burry is a uh, proof card. So it's basically a sample. But I thought it was really cool. Pavel Burry and Timu Solani were two of my favorite players before the Lightning really were established here in Tampa. The Lightning did win tonight, so we are moving on to the Stanley Cup. Prime target is Jerry Rice. Early Edgar Martinez tops finest card, and it's not all yellowed. Um, I have another refractor uh, tops card that you'll see here in a little bit that has that yellowing, which is very normal uh, from time. But this one, early tops finest refractor, people will pay pretty decent money for those. Here's another ripped. I uh, like the Dan Marino. This is a Brett Favre. This one, numbered 395. So you can see the zero in front of it. If they went over that zero, you would see a second zero. So you know there's a cap basically is how that works so this is kind of a lower number version early Brett Favre right here Joe Montana Dwight Clark couple of, couple of the uh, you know all-time great uh, events that have ever happened this is numbered out of 1986 to commemorate that so uh, I thought that was really cool out of classics good old Ricky Williams tops finest rookie with the protective layer still on it fantastic uh, brace yourself, Jerry Rice, Top Stadium Club. Now, there's probably some of these inserts y'all have never even seen before or heard of, especially if you're not a little bit older. Uh, Dan Marino, uh, Rookies and Stars, Crown Royal, which are two different sets now. Um, there's this one, and then look, there's the blue version of John Elway. That just gives you an idea, but it's really cool how they kind of fracturally uh, went down on it. I mean, I don't even remember collecting these. Uh, back then and I was collecting all that stuff so all right bear with me guys we're still going we got this whole stack to go uh, and <laughs> Andrew Jones Pacific collection Pacific like I said back in the day beautiful design of the car beautiful look just disappointing that we're not getting that type of stuff promo car HR Kingsbury bonds um, really cool uh, right here another promotional card Cal Ripken or the Orioles uh, to embossed uh, card for Ultra. Uh, this card right here is a Boomer Esiason mint coin, uh, but it it it's 0.635 ounces of silver. So I bought it for its silver value because it's worth more than a dollar. All right, uh, A Rod early tops finest card. This uh, if you look, no major league experience. It's basically a rookie card back then they didn't really want to put rookie logos on things so this card right here from 2000 uh, Pacific but look how nice this card is look at this much nicer than what we have today all right a couple Wayne Gretzky cards here Wayne Gretzky ultra inserts um, this is one of the Donruss uh, like Diamond Kings type insert but this is called Ice Masters uh, here's another ultra early ultra insert uh, these were like, back in the days were big cards um, this Brian Urlacher, very boring, right? Flip it over. Uh-oh, one of 100. So back then you had to pay attention, like I said, to these cards. Just because the way they look doesn't mean they weren't special. Nothing on this card states that it's special. Until you flip it over and you see a serial number. And this one just happens to be one of 100. Probably people passed on that before I ever even got to it. Uh, Fielder's Choice, Jeff Bagwell and Yvonne Rodriguez. Again, this very leathery feeling card. Uh, and it is textured. So it's cool. Uh, rookies. Toys R Us King Griffey Jr. card. I thought it was really cool. It's 1990s. Rookie is technically 89. But Toys R Us probably behind the curve. Uh, 
Uh, Colin Kaepernick, our uh, tops rookie. I don't have any Colin Kaepernicks till now. In case he gets drafted or comes in, I got a little skin in the game. Randy Johnson, uh, Bowman Chroma Fractor. Man, I'm already 25 minutes into talking to y'all. Uh, Larry Walker, gold, Bowman's best. Um, back then, he had to pay attention to the coloring more than anything because it did not tell you. It just said refractor on the back. It did not say that it was a gold refractor. Uh, Andrew Jones, I mean, Andrew, Andrew Dawson, second year cup card. This uh, Air Force Jerry Rice. Look how nice this card is. Got the little planes here, the bombs over here. I don't even know if you could put bombs on cards anymore. Uh, Horace Grant rookie card for a buck. Pro Bowl, Jerry Rice. Upper deck. Medalist Jerry Rice. Again, cut see through. Deion Sanders Pacific. Uh, I don't know if this was called Museum or Artist Collection uh, when it had that uh, coloring on. I think Artist Proof was a, a, a had a little thing on it. Uh, Pro View Barry Sanders insert. Horace Copeland uh, UD. I forgot what these were called. Upper deck choice cards where it had was the hologram behind it. Horace Copeland uh, was a favorite player of mine when he played here with the Buccaneers. He wore number 88 when I played wide receiver. I wore 88 so it was kind of like a little thing like that. Uh, 40th anniversary Dan Marino. SSD contender Barry Sanders. Roaring 20 Barry Sanders card. Uh, Jerry Rice. Uh, 49ers like a ring card. Insert. Then we have Steven Strasburg rookies. Chrome, paper, and uh, Heritage. Uh, Barry Bonds, uh, Mystery Finest. Pull the foil. You can see the card. You can get any of these three players. You never know who it's going to be. Dale Earnhardt, uh, interview insert from Classic. Gary Payton, 19. Uh, uh, this is actually 2000, I think, right? 2000 um, insert. Skybox. I thought it was cool. Uh, this little film card of uh, Jerry Rice. That was number two. Uh, Brett Favre's starting lineup card. This is not a rookie card of him, uh, as uh, this is later uh, in 1999, and you can see he was playing in 1990 in college. Uh, Fanimation, uh, Dan Marino, very popular card. I like it. Crosses over. Um, this uh, still has the peel on it. V2 Jerry Rice. Um, you only got a few cards per pack on these when you did get them, and then you were looking for colored inserts. Uh, Barry Sanders, uh, Time Warp, Black Label, 22 Carat insert. So that's a big deal on that. Uh, and if you flip it over, look how nice this card is on the back. I mean, they should have done that on the front. It's boring on the front. But boom, on the back, lights you up. Man, crazy. All right, uh, we got, <laughs> again, Jerry Rice. I told you it was going to be crazy on the Rice's. Uh, a Rod and Namor uh, superheroes card. Uh, these are very popular. Spider Man is probably the most popular out of those, followed by Thor. Great Iron Gods from Molten Metal Jerry Rice. Sample uh, Cal Ripken again. Really nice, fun card. Dan Marino, Alec of the Shining. Uh, Dan Marino and Peyton Manning race to Marino. Thought that was a really cool card because it's historically significant. Uh, refractor of Steve Young from Stadium Club. Touchdown Tandems, Peyton Manning and Marvin Harris. Uh, two SPX um, cards. You can see the, they move their face when they do it. That was a big deal back then. Jason Kidd Rookie, SPX. Another Jason Kidd Rookie of SP. Anthony Hardaway, Rookie Sensations from Fleer. Marshall Falk, Rookie from Select. Black and blue Dan Marino. I love this card. He's all muddied up, getting up out of the dirt because his line couldn't save his ass. Uh, Marino was good at shifting in the pocket and stuff, but man, he had to throw that ball quick. Uh, early Ultra Shaquille O'Neal Power, Ultra Power, Gold Ignat Dan Marino from Edge. Again, that's that's what makes it a parallel, um, not numbered, but that's how you would determine that. Frank Gore rookie. Um, this is one of these passing the torch type cards, even though there's nobody's passing it to. Uh, Barry Sanders numbered out of 500. Uh, molten, or not molten metal, Metal Universe, Cal Ripken Jr. Uh, mag magnetic Field. Super cool cards. Barry Sanders. Not numbered. Oh, promo card. 
Uh, this is like a wood card of Jeff Bagwell. A uh, insert of Dan Marino with the American flag on the back of it is numbered out of 5,000. Edron James rookie SPS excitement. Penny Hardaway nicknames. These are big cards now, especially if you can get them good grades. Um, this is actually in really good shape. I don't think I'm graded 10. I think uh, 8 or 9 at best. Uh, Armed Forces Action Pack Brett Favre. It's embossed too. It's so it's thick and it's uh, 3D. Uh, Donner's Elite. Dan Marino to 2500. Gold. Slater Ultra Dan Marino. Here's that other uh, leather card I was talking about where this feels like leather of Deion Sanders. A uh, early Kurt Warner card. This might be a rookie year. It's a preview card of 1999. Kurt Warner. Claim to fame, Randy Johnson. Gold rookie, Javon Curse. Barry Sanders Pro Bowl card. These were fun cards back then. All rookie series, Anthony Hardaway from Ultra Inserts. Sculpted, Dan Marino. AJ Hawk. Bowman Chrome Refractor uh, rookie. Steve Young, Stairmasters. You can see his face in the back there. It is numbered out of 1500. Uh, we got a uh, Dan Marino here out of uh, the HGs called Starview. It's really cool. Uh, another Dan Marino here, Prestige. Uh, not numbered, but sliding. Team Pinnacle, Jeff Gordon. I just like the way the card look. Um, and it's Jeff Gordon. Randy Moss. This is a Super Bowl card from Edge. That was a rookie, and it's a preview rookie card from Edge. So I thought that was really cool. It's got really good refractor look to it. And I have no idea what it's worth. <laughs> Emmett Smith Pro Set 1990 Draft Refractor. Or not Refractor. Hologram. Cutting Edge Dan Marino from Edge again. Again, Edge. Another one of those companies back in the day. You see this Edge Fury. This right here lets you know it's the subset of the insert. Um that you would be chasing and that's what makes it, it used to be a multiplier same thing with first day issues it's a multiplier on the card you get like one or two per box or something like that leaf certified gold team jerry rice another dan marino here I'm amassing quite a dan marino collection uh Peyton Manning, purple refractor i don't think there's any number yeah, it is numbered to 499 look at all that red if i talk about tops and you see red you see a lot of red. That tells you how good that player was. Um, Carl Malone, Dominique Wilkins. These are early Fleer card inserts. They're really nice. I uh, like the silhouettes of the profile of the individual. Sergio Garcia rookies. Magic Johnson SPX hologram. Uh, Power Core, Carl Malone. This is a really nice looking card too. Again, these 90s inserts. Early 2000s. All right, right here, Barry Bonds. This is another nice ultra insert. Again, they were doing different things back then. It made it fun. Uh, electric uh, Diamond, Barry Bonds. An early Nolan Ryan tops card. Fractural Matrix Worn Sap. I did not have this one. Brian handed this one over to me while we were there. Um, felt back flashback of Ronnie ba Brown. I just never really seen one of these. 19 of 199, you flip it over and it's got a little pennant on it. I thought that was really cool. Uh, again, hadn't seen it. Two of these um, because those are just three great quarterbacks of history. Um, not numbered or anything, but still a great insert. Barry Bonds, uh, Triple Crown. This right here, I have never seen one of these before uh, from Impact, where it's basically like it's broken into pieces. Um, Rick Meyer Rookie Tops Finest Refractor. Holy mother. I mean, back in the day, imagine if this was a new car today and he was just 1 2 basically drafted, what this thing would sell for. Crazy. All right, Hobby Masters, and then a couple Adrian Peterson rookies. So, again, a ton of dollar cards, guys. Had a great time, spent a bunch of money, and I uh, hope you liked the video. I'm sorry it's long, but that's the only way I can show you everything. Uh, like, subscribe, leave a comment, and if you do leave a comment, please let me know what was your favorite card or cards that you saw out of this set. And uh, hope to see you again soon, guys, and appreciate y'all.